Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time joining us, thank you for joining along and I hope that this benefits you in some way. We are going to be working on the 6S speed controller that is featured in many of the Arma vehicles, including the Felon that you see here in front of you. But if you have any 6S Arma vehicle, you're programming the same speed controller. We're going to be going over calibrations as well as some of the internal programming features for running modes, motor rotations, battery uh, lipo battery cutoffs, BEC voltages, etc, etc. So the first thing we're going to do is calibrate the speed controller for full throttle, full reverse and neutral positions. If you see page 22 of your instruction manual, you're going to see this page here. This goes over the steps that are involved here. So what we're going to do first is going to hold the set button down. We're going to power on the speed controller. We're going to press the set button for the neutral position. Apply full throttle and press the set button. And then go full reverse and press the set button. And finally power the speed controller off and back on again. And that will be the end of the calibration. So let's go through that now. So we'll begin by pressing the set button and powering on the speed controller. Once you hear steady beeps, you can release the set button. We'll start with the trigger position in neutral and press the set button. We'll pull full throttle and press the set button. We'll push full reverse and press the set button. The system will come back on and begin counting the number of cells. Power the speed controller off, power the speed controller back on, and your system is now calibrated. So the next ESC program we'll be looking at is the ESC tuning. Featured on page 23 of your instruction manual is this graph here. This will show you what options the speed controller will program. So variable one, for example, is your running mode. Variable two is your motor direction. To enter this programming option, we'll start with the speed controller on and then press and hold the set button. Once the LED begins blinking green, we'll release the set button and press it again. And this will get into your speed controller's programming options. So one beep would be variable one. Pressing and holding the set button down will enter its programming options where you can change that setting. And then finally pressing the set button down will confirm that the setting has been changed. I know that's a little confusing to talk through it, but we'll do it for you so that you can actually see that process. So let's say that we wanted to change our brake strength in our speed controller. By default, these speed controllers come set at 75%. And in really fast cars like this, I really like to have a, a harder braking so that you don't smash into curves due to not enough brake strength. So we'll start by holding down the set button, as I mentioned before, and we'll wait until the speed controller blinks green. Release it and press the button one time. That one beep indicated that it is in variable one, which is your running mode. Variable five is your brake strength mode. So we'll press the button, two beeps, three blinks, four blinks, that's five blinks. So that is our variable five for our brake strength. So press and hold the set button. So if you, if you counted, that's five blinks. So that is seven blinks, and that is the maximum brake strength for your speed controller. So now we'll hold this set button down. So that long beep has indicated that it has registered the change in your speed controller. Now you can confirm that by powering off your speed controller. Power your speed controller back on. Hold the set button down. Press the set button at one blink. It's five blinks. If you counted seven blinks, that would indicate to you that we have successfully changed that speed controller. Should you want to change something like your motor timing, that is option number eight. So we'll start again by holding the set button down, pressing the set button. That's one blink, two, 
three, four, five, So eight blinks would indicate to you that it is in the motor timing option. Again, we'll hold the button down. So that is your seven blinks indicating that it is at 22 and a half degrees timing. Now keep in mind that when you change your timing in your speed controller, that can cause additional overheating, but more performance or less performance depending on how you adjust that timing. So always adjust your timing with caution when you're looking at longevity of your equipment. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope my demonstration and the programming has helped you in some way. I also hope that this will clear up a lot of questions for you as far as getting things set up in your speed controller. If you benefited from this channel or this video in any way, please consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscription. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification. I mentioned this in all of my videos. If you don't hit that bell, you're not getting those notifications. So make sure that you go back and do that for all of your subscriptions. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one.